You didn't have the easiest time getting pregnant. No. No, we did not. <laughs> no. Um, we came here after trying for, I guess, not quite six months. And we did a lot of tries here. We did a lot of different things. And the end result was the best thing that could have happened. So there's a lot of studies recently <coughs> published that um, couples stop IVF treatment prematurely. while well, there still are ability to get pregnant, but they burn out or lose hope. What drove you to the finish line? Um, I think we had a lot of conversations with you about whether we should keep going, whether we sh what is, whether it would be worth it to try again. Could we hack it? Could we do it emotionally and financially? And was it, um, a, could it be a positive ending? You know, we just weren't sure considering the first time wasn't. Yeah. Do you remember the moment when you got the phone call that you were pregnant? Yeah, I do, of course. <laughs> It was a good day. It was a good day. I had taken a pregnancy test that morning for the first time ever. For this whole experience with you guys, I never took one, and I took one that day. I was like, I just can't get this news from anyone else. And it was positive for the first time, you know, for the first time. So it was fabulous. I remember one particular meeting we had with you, and it was, we were definitely at the end of our rope. This was prior to the final IVF that we did, and, and you sort of broke down the statistics and said, you laid out all the options for us, and you let us obviously make the final decision, but you you helped us realize we're, that we are in a good place still and we can give it one more shot. We really pride ourselves in individualizing treatment plans for every couple and having a lot of hands-on contact with every couple, doctor, and, and we all know each other exceptionally well <laughs> over time. Mm -hmm. Did you find that to be the experience here? Yeah, I think, I think you updated your email system because of me. <laughs> now it's a, a little more confidential. <laughs> but yes, I um, certainly emailed you <laughs> as much as I, anytime I had a question, I just shot an email out, which I thought was fabulous because it could be at one o'clock in the morning and I didn't want to have to call in a service or wait till the next morning and you answered very promptly most, most of the time. <laughs> But it was, it was a big relief. I mean, sometimes you can't speak everything. It's so emotional. So it's a big relief to be able to email some things. You know, so take some time. Think about what you're going to say. And some of the answers aren't always what you want to hear. So it's nice to not have to respond right away also and to not even share it with other people right away. What do you find to be the most um, important aspect of being cared for by a fertility practice? that really places patients first, as we do here at RMA of Philadelphia? Um, just being in constant contact and understanding mm -hmm. it all, which everyone helped us understand everything along the way, was the best, the best. I mean, there's no other way to say, I have a problem and I understand it. That's every, amazing. And every appointment, Nikki saw an actual physician, which helped. Right. If she had a question, it was always answered. There was nothing, there was nothing left out. Um, it was all black and white. Clear cut right. answer all the time. I am so amazed that your kids were these very small embryos about <laughs> two years ago, and now they're these fully grown kids with their own personalities. And for me, that's the most excitement I ever get to see is when parents bring their right. kids back, and you saw them in the test tube, and now they're fully grown. It, it is really a miracle. <laughs> it really is. It's really strange to think that we were those people, and that was them, and here yeah. we are, and here they are. Here we are. <laughs> it's, it's nice to be back here. A couple times we would be waiting in the waiting room prior to the twin, to the girls, um, and we'd see your past patients come in with their kids sometimes, e either here for another round or, or for whatever, and we would, we would look at them sort of envious and, yeah. and hopeful at the same time. It's nice to be back here again with them. <laughs>